Disposable cuts are seamless transitions between shots, creating the illusion of one single, uninterrupted long take. If you haven't noticed them in your favourite films, then they've done their job, as these cuts are designed to be so smooth that you wouldn't even know they've happened. Invisible cuts are specifically used in video to keep the audience enthralled in the story without drawing attention to the editing process behind it. This technique was first used in American psychological crime thriller Rope, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Five of the film's ten edits are famously hidden as the lens is filled with objects, enabling Hitchcock to cut the shots together without disturbing the flow of the on-screen action, just like we're watching the stage play that the film was based on. Long takes like this give storylines a sense of authenticity, as if audiences are right in the room with the characters and watching the action play out in real time. Invisible cuts in film have only improved as cameras and editing technology have developed over the decades, where directors have been able to use this technique more and more, to the point where noticing the cut points between the shots is almost impossible. As editors, we need to create invisible cuts with footage that's going to flow together when played back, so the transition between the end of one shot and the beginning of the next is crucial. When you're hiding a cut with an object, it's important to make sure the last part of the first clip is the same as the first part of the second clip. Like covering the lens, for example, with an object until it goes black. This is a great way to do this without experiencing too many hiccups. But the great thing is that if you didn't achieve the same look, you can use a transition like a cross dissolve or dip to help you achieve smoother playback. The same goes for when you're cutting on a whip pan or camera movement that causes a blur. The clip should be cut together where both pieces of footage are obscured, just enough to create a transition point that will effectively conceal an edit. It's also important to ensure you don't hang around too long on the transition area. Now, if you do this, the cut will become more apparent and you'll make the viewer more aware they're watching a film or a video, and that's exactly what we don't want to do. So keep watching the cut back again and again in the context of your scene and ensure it's the right length for the take to appear continuous. These types of edits don't have to be saved for just the big screen productions. Instead, many content creators are embracing the invisible edit to make their commercials look smoother, their TikToks more eye-catching, or even just as a fun way to follow trends on social media. So why not experiment with the invisible edit for yourself? Have a go implementing it in your own project and see how it can transform your storytelling. We'll see you right here next week for more content from the Loom Touch Academy. Until then, happy editing.